good morning students today you will learn unit 5 factors in this lesson you will learn in detail about what factors are dear students in this lesson you are going to learn what are factors you are going to learn the divisibility rules of 2 5 10 3 and 9 and you are going to learn to build factor tree now students let us learn what are factors in detail in class 3 you have already learned what are factors the numbers that are multiplied to get a product are called as factors the numbers that are multiplied to get a product are called as factors let us take this example 2 3 are 6 here 2 and 3 are the factors and 6 is called as the product now let us think over here 2 and 3 are multiplied to get 6 so 2 is the factor of 6 and 3 is also the factor of 6 6 is the product let us stop and think are these two numbers 2 and 3 are the only numbers which can be multiplied to get the product 6 or do we have any other pairs or any other numbers which can be multiplied to get the product 6 so we can verify this with the help of the multiplication tables let us begin with the one times table in one times table let us search for the product 6 here these are the products where is the product 6 here yes we found it here 1 into 6 is 6 so these two are the factors 1 and 6 are the factors to get the product 6 so from this we came to know that not only 2 and 3 are the factors but 1 and 6 are also the factors of 6 1 and 6 are the factors of 6 let us move on to the next table the two times table where can we find 6 as the product here 2 3 are 6 that is the example we have taken already and we have explained it 2 3 is are 6 here 2 and 3 are the factors of 6 let's check in 3 times table where is 6 here 3 2 are 6 2 3 are 6 is the same as 3 2 are 6 so we don't have to repeat again and write it because the numbers can be multiplied in any order let's move on to the 4 times table here we can't find 6 anywhere in 5 times table also we can't find 6 as the product anywhere now let's move on to 6 times table here in the first statement we can find 6 ones are 6 already we have taken 1 6 are 6 so here it is 6 ones are so the numbers can be multiplied in any order these two are the factors 1 and 6 now let us put this in the form of before we write it in this form let us see the other tables do we have to really check in the other tables the seven times table eight times table and so on no we don't need to check because because we can stop till the six times table whereas we need the product of six and six is the number which is less than 7 8 9 and 10 so let's stop with this So we have found the factors of six. Not only two and three are the factors of six, but you have some more factors, one and six also. So we can take two, three as the first factor pair, and one and six is the second factor pair. So we have two factor pairs for six. Or together we can write the factors of any number as one, two, three, and six. are the factors of 6 so let us write in this form in order from the smallest factor to the largest factor and mention that they are the factors of the given number now dear students let us learn more about factors with the help of another example 18 flowers are used to be made into garlands what different ways of garlands could be made now here to find the solution 
finding factors of the number 18 will help us in what ways the flowers can be arranged so that it can be made into garlands let us take the help of multiplication tables now let us search for the number 18 18 is the is the number for which we have to find the factors let us find the number 18 in one times table we have one times table till 112s are 12. If we move on 113s are, 114s are, 115s are, 116s are, 117s are, 118s are. So we get 118s are as 18. So we can say that with the help of this multiplication fact 118s are 18, one garland of 18 flowers can be made. So, we can make one complete garland by using all 18 flowers. Now, in 2 times table, let us search for the product 18. 18 is here. 2 nines are 18. So, when we write 2 nines are 18, it means we can make 2 garlands of 9 flowers each. So, 2 garlands can be made with 9 flowers in each garland. Now let's move on to the 3 times table. In 3 times table, where do we find the number 18? The product 3, 6 are 18. Yes. So if we write the multiplication statement 3, 6 are 18, it means that 3 garlands of 6 flowers can be made. 3 garlands with 6 flowers each can be made. Now let's move on to the next table, 4 times table. We don't find 18 as the product in 4 times table. In 5 times table also we could not find. 6 times table. Yes, we found it. 6 3s are 18. But already we have taken 3 6 are 18. So 3 garlands with 6 flowers each. 6 3s are means 6 garlands. You can view the, visualize the other way. 6 garlands with three flowers each so it means the same you multiply the numbers in any order three six are and six threes are only the way of of putting the number of flowers as garlands will differ but here when we take as factors it is the same three and six are the factors of 18 now let's move on to the next table seven times table in seven times table we don't find 18 anywhere as the product 8 times table also doesn't have 18 as the product. Now in 9 times table, yes, we do find it. 9 twos are 18. But already we have taken 2 nines are, which means 2 garlands of 9 flowers. But if we take 9 twos are, it will be 9 garlands with 2 flowers in each. See, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So when we visualize the other way, we can find 9 garlands with 2 flowers in each. Next, let us move on to 8 times table. 9 times table, we found 9 twos are 18. 10 times table, we don't find 18 anywhere. Then move on to 11. No, we don't find 18 in 11 times table. 12, 13. So if we move so move on, you can find in 18 times table 18 ones are. We have already taken 118 are. So it's the same. 118 are, 18 ones are is the same. So we can say that these are the factor pairs. 118 is the first factor pair. 29 is the second factor pair. 3 and 6 is the third factor pair. To put all factors together, we can say 1, 18, 2, 9, 3 and 6 are all numbers. We multiply to get 18. So, to put the factors in order from the smallest to the greatest, we write 1, 2, 3, 6, 9 and 18 are all factors of 18. As we saw the previous examples, from example 1, the factors of 6 are 1, 2, 3 and 6. The first example, factors of 6 are 1, 2, 3 and 6. From second example, the factors of 18 are 
1, 2, 3, 6, 9 and 18. Let us learn the properties of factors with the help of these examples. 1 is the factor of every number and it is the smallest factor. This is the first property. So here from these two examples you can see that 1 is the factor of these two numbers and it is the smallest factor. Not only for these two numbers, for any number 1 will be the factor and it will be the smallest factor. Second property is that every number is the greatest factor of itself. Now let us see this example. In factors of 6, 6 is one of the factors. So we found the factors of 6 and 6 itself is a factor of 6 and that is the greatest factor. In factors of 18, 18 itself, the number itself is a factor and that is the greatest factor of that number. So for every number, the number itself will be the greatest factor. Now the third property is that the factors of a number are equal to or less than the number. Now when we observe the factors of 6 and 18, we can see that the factors of 6 are equal to 6. So that is the last factor, the greatest factor is 6 and the other factors are less than that. The same way in factors of 18, the last or the greatest factor is 18 or all other factors lie less than the number. They are less than 18. So they will be equal to the number or less than the number. So it means the factors of any number will lie in between 1 which is the smallest factor and the number itself that will be the greatest factors, factor and all other numbers will lie in between 1 and the number itself. The next topic of this lesson is rules of divisibility. In this topic you will learn the divisibility rules of 2, 5, 10, 3 and 9. Now let us think why do we learn rules of divisibility. We learn rules of divisibility because the rules of divisibility will help you to find out which numbers divide others without leaving any remainder. Any remainder means the remainder must be 0 and we learn the rules of divisibility also because it helps us find factors easily. What do you mean by divisible numbers? A number is divisible by another if on dividing the remainder is 0. Here are two examples. In first example, we divide 28 by 4. 4 times of 7 is 28. 28 minus 28 is 0. We can say that 28 is divisible by 4. Why? Because the remainder is 0. In second example, we divide 28 by 3. 3 times of 9 is 27. 8 minus 7 is 1. 2 minus 2 is 0. Here, we say that 28 is not divisible by 3. Why do we say that? Because the remainder is not 0 here. So, there are some numbers like 2, 5, 10, 3 and 9. Without using long division, we can apply just the divisibility rules and we can find out whether the given number is divisible by any of these numbers. We are going to learn the divisibility rules of 2, 5, 10, 3 and 9 in the upcoming slides. Divisibility rules of 2, 5, 10, 3 and 9 to be continued in the next video.